Oh, also, I love that at Margiela they give you like these little bags. Actually, the sales associate gave me like a paper bag, and I was like, Do you guys have the cloth bags and stuff? And he was like, Yeah, let me get you a cloth bag. I'm like, You need a cloth bag. You don't want that cloth bag. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. Hey, yeah. And I am so happy to be back here talking to you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have known that I have now started working. Okay, y'all, full time, girl, got a full time job, like doing everything, girl. Yeah, so that has been taking up a lot of my time, obviously, I'm getting, um, you know, reacclimated, I think that's the word, uh, reacclimated to working again and, yeah, I love, I love it so far though. So today was my first day off, y'all. I was so giddy too, because today it was like 75 degrees in New York. Um, although you can't tell by what I'm wearing. But I figure, you know, I'm on and off trains, I'm in stores, and at the end of the day, I still run cold, and at the end of the day, it's still not summer. And at the end of the day, this weather be unpredictable. So it's say 75 now, but it could drop to a cooler 60, 50, and then I got short sleeve on, freezing to death. So I put on me a little hoodie, my little cargos, and my little rip boots little hat because my hair is looking crazy now today I went out primarily to find shoes to wear to work because I do a lot of walking and a lot of standing so I wanted a comfy shoe and I knew what I wanted to I knew that I wanted to do the black Reebok the Margiela version I y'all know I got the white version I think like three weeks ago but I'm saving those when I get my braids because it's going to be a whole little vibe for this look I want to do. One thing I know about the Margiela Reeboks, obviously because I have the white pair, but they are really, really comfortable. Um, I was telling y'all in like a past video how my aunt used to buy a fresh pair of black classic Reeboks every year for work because she was just rave about how comfortable they were. So last night I emailed the store manager at Margiela because he gave me his information and I'm like, yo, do y'all have these shoes? And he ended up saying that they do. They put them to the side for me, went in. Now, when it comes to sizing with the black version, I ended up going true to size with this one, mainly because I felt like it's a shoe that I want to be working in and I kind of didn't want to go through a break-in process. And two, I just feel like this shoe fits better true to size. Although I did get the white pair and I think a half size smaller than what I normally wear because that's all they had available. And two, I knew that they were leather and they were stretched. Y'all know the whole spiel I said all the time. I'm gonna show you them, obviously, in just a moment. I, I, I just wanted to walk you guys through my day a little bit, give you like a little vloggy type of situation. Um, but as I was checking out at the Margiela store, y'all, I got to see the little transparent little tabbies. I had actually never seen like the version that they had in store like surfacing online. The one that I have been seeing is like the loafer transparent version, which I was like, eh, I don't really like them. I'm not really a fan of them. I don't know the words like it's just it's not for me <laughs> it's not for me I don't I'm not even gonna try to explain it but it's just not for me your feet won't get super fogged up and sweaty on the inside because they have little um holes on the side of the shoe so that your ear you know you can get some some breath some air circulation amongst your feet so I thought that that made it more practical. One thing that I hate is like the smoky, transparent situation. And also I don't really like trendy pieces and I think that those are on trend now and probably gonna be on trend for maybe a year or two, but after that it's probably gonna be weak sauce. It's funny, whenever I go in the Margiela store, I never look at like the clothes and stuff. I mean, I do peek a little bit, but today I was just really, you know, doing a deep dive and I seen this freaking red dress that was everything. I think it was like a silk poly blend. It would just hug the body so perfectly and I know it. If you wear that dress, you killing it, period. Like, I don't care where you going, I don't care what the, the theme is, put that red freaking tight uh rib everything dress on like, y'all already know it's my vibe but i'm just telling y'all in case anybody you know is in the, in the market for a red sexy banger anger dress actually before the margiela store i ended up going to the moma design store i was just walking past on my way to the margiela store and i'm like oh this is the moma design store so i walked in because i never been in there and i was like oh my gosh like i did not know it was set up like this so on like the first level, I think you have like the jewelry, little knickknacks. If, if you want to pick up, what do you call those gifts? I can't think of the word. I'm probably going to pop up the word right here. But you know, if you're a tourist and you want to bring stuff back for your family, 
they have that little stuff on the first level. And then what I thought was super cute was these little Izzy Miyake bags, the me design bags. They are mimicked after tree trumps, which I thought was really cool. And they came in so many different colors. And I was gonna like maybe buy one, but then they were $100 and I'm like, eh. I probably put 100 or 200 more with that and probably purchase a Bow Bow bag. And then downstairs at the moment store, they have like their book section. They have like pens, really nice pens. They're like, oh yeah, like little ceramic dishes, houseware, things downstairs. But what really captivated me was the book section. Section I'm always here for a little, little book. Um, especially something that I can, you know, take something from. And they actually had a really good selection with the books that they had and they had a little sale going. So I'm like, I'm definitely finna cop because they were really good prices. Like really nice books for like $20, $10, brand spanking new. And I'll probably insert footage of like a couple of books that just really caught my eye that I may go back and purchase in the future. But today I was just like, no, Sierra, you're gonna pick one book, okay, one book, and then you can come back. I have to be cutting myself off, okay? Sometimes I like to listen to the practical lady in my head. So I was like, okay, okay, girl, okay. Oh, and then this morning I had got up early, went to go get my nails done, and also to go pick up a package that I had got from The Real Real. Haven't opened that yet, haven't even peeked at it yet, so we're gonna get into this little unboxing in the moment. Also, do you guys like my new nail color? I went with like a mint green because it's spring and because money and I want to attract money. Let's start off with the Margiela. Oh, also I love that at Margiela they give you like these little bags. Actually the sales associate gave me like a paper bag and I was like, do you guys have the cloth bags and stuff? And he was like, yeah, let me get you a cloth bag. I'm like, you need a cloth bag. You know I want that cloth bag. <laughs> So yeah, I love that they give you these little cloth bags when you shop with them, put your little products in. And also, it's good for grocery shopping. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. They're super sturdy. I've already used my other one going grocery shopping and yeah, super happy to have this. Obviously, it's the little box, little Margiela Rebox box. Um, and I didn't think that I would purchase the black one, but until I got this job, I'm like, Obviously black is more good for like work. You won't be able to see, you know, dirt and stuff on them so much. And I am really hard when I work. I'm really hard when I do anything. So I was like, whatever shoe I do, I need to definitely do it in black. So I was super happy that they had these in my size. Got them in a 6.5. And I know the sizing with these are kind of weird, but they run in men's sizes. And I am a women's size eight, men's size six and a half. Cause I called and I'm like, yeah, I'm this size, hold on. But then it say 38.5 European and I'm not no 38 and a half. Hopefully he gave me the right, okay. We gonna get into it, let's see. <laughs> so, I'm about to try these on again. Hopefully they, they are right, I'm usually a 38. Uh, so this is how they came. Come with a pair of black little tabby socks that you can wear with them. I have the white version came with the white socks. I'm actually wearing the white socks right now. Uh, and then here they are. Just the black version. Y'all already seen them in white, same, literally the same shoe, but just in black. Um, I tried them all with like my little cargos, and I thought that it was cute with what I was wearing today. Um, but also with like jeans and things of the sort. But yeah, just a classic black pair. I'm mad to say 38.5. Okay, let me try these on again, y'all, because she might have to exchange them. And then all of Margiela's shoes actually come with little dust bags. Unfortunately, I only have one in here though, so I'm probably gonna have to go back and get another one because I definitely like to store my shoes in these little bags, keep them from the dirt and the, the debris and the air. And also, they're their luxury, so you want to keep them in the best condition as long as possible. <laughs> So I really don't mean to confuse any of you guys, but actually this 38.5, 6.5 really works for me. Um, I think I did. Hold on, let me see what size my white ones is. Hold on. Okay, so my white. Okay, okay, so I was right. So I got my white in a six. So let me get the box, cause this is weird. So I'm not tweaking because this box for my white one says US six, 
37.5 European, right? Y'all can see that. But then the black box says US 6.5, 38.5 European. Wouldn't it be a 38? Did they get it mixed up or am I tweaking? Please let me know down in the comments if y'all have any further knowledge when it comes to the sizing with these Reeboks, the Marjilla Reeboks. Cause when that already makes sense. But all in all, I would say I am really happy with both sizes. Like I said, they, these fit a little bit more snug, but I know that they're gonna give. However, with these, if you are planning to you know, purchase them, I would definitely say go true to size. Which is weird because like I said, I'm typically a 6.5 when it comes to men's sneakers, which usually translates to like an eight, I believe in women. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what Margiela was doing when it came to the with these babies, but to me, it's definitely confusing. But I don't say my piece on that. If you guys have any other questions, be sure to, you know, comment or DM me and I will better assist you that way. And then from the MoMA store, got my first little MoMA bag. Only I go to the MoMA design store before I go to the actual museum. And then I just got this book item is fashion modern wait items okay let me read that better items is fashion modern okay and it is an a to z of 111 garments and accessories that have influenced the world in the past 100 years from icons of fashion to humble masterpieces of design and this is the back of the book i don't know who that guy is i don't know that man <laughs> but um me, I thought it was a really cool book. I was like looking through it and like I seen like a jazz sport bag and it was telling you the history of that. And I find that what I do for, you know, my job and also with having a YouTube, like I want to always be telling you guys the correct information and also learn as much as I can and share with you guys. And I hope you guys do the same, honestly, because I do look at my YouTube channel as a way for me to learn. Um, me it, it, having a youtube channel and you know talking about fashion forces me to like learn a little bit more about the things that i'm telling you about because i just don't want to get on here and be like they're cute you know so i i, I love learning um little facts here and there just to give you guys a little peaky wiki for instance it goes through the history of like the espadrille so this page here is about the espadrille and then they have you know the fanny pack gives you a little synopsis of the fanny pack um yeah i just thought it was like a cool little book and also connor and i are moving in august and when we move i plan to like buy cute little furniture and like a cute little coffee table things of the sort so i think that this will be a nice little book to have on our coffee table so super happy to have this guy and I think the original price for this book was like $40 and I paid $20 for it so I was like you can't beat that for a fashion book because one thing about these fashion books honey they be hundreds sometimes thousands of dollars and I'm, I'm definitely gonna get you know get up there one day but in the meantime between time I'd rather buy Margiela at the end of the day like I don't want to buy a book like I can go on the internet and google it and find out that way yeah and like here they go off like the tracksuit so I am really, really excited to read about this book and read about the history of these core, you know, pieces that we have in our wardrobe and share with you guys. So I'm gonna be letting you guys know what I think about this book once I'm done. Last but not least, if you're still watching, we're gonna get into what I got from the Real Real Deal Deal. I was on the Real Real a couple of weeks ago and I seen this Hyder Ackerman dress in a US four. Again, y'all know I'm itty bitty committee. So I'm usually a US, you know, zero two at best when it comes to like dresses especially like loose fitting dresses so i was like hopefully that they got the sizing wrong with this because i know sometimes they like measure it depending on how they measure it it may be a little bit off like sometimes you may find that if you order a small it may fit smaller than a small or it may fit bigger than a small depending on how they measure it but i was just like this dress is probably going to be too big but i'm going to order it anyway because i absolutely love the freaking style of it um, so I just took it out the package, just folded up very really neatly, and it is 100% silk Heider Ackerman little dress. And what I loved about it was the back, oh my gosh, it has like this little, I don't know what you call it, like draping effect in the back. And it did say that the person who had it altered it. And this is actually my first, is it my first? Yeah, this is actually my first Heider Ackerman piece. So 
really excited to see how this is gonna fit your girl and everything so let's try it on it looks <laughs> for words when it comes to this dress i don't know how to feel about it i think i have to like sleep on it and then try it on again in the morning because i do really like it with actually this baseball cap i think it's a whole little look probably do it with like my little margella tabbies but when it comes to like the fit it, i can tell that whoever had this dress was probably like in love with it so much that it was too big but they're like i'll just take it to my tailor because the arms just really fit tight like i don't know it just seems like they're too tight for the other portions of the dress, if that makes any sense. Although I don't really know how Hyder Ackerman pieces fit. I don't know if they tend to fit smaller in the arm. However, I don't think that the sleeves take away from the dress at all. I do think that this is still a really cute little dress. Like, what do y'all think? Like, should I keep it or should I send it back? I'm kind of leaning towards sending it back because I do feel like I can find something a little bit better. And also this silk is like a heavier silk and I probably will burn the heck up <laughs> in the summertime. Unless I'm going to dinner where it's AC. I don't know. What do y'all freaking think? But I really do like it with this, with this hat. So I don't know. I like too that you can't see my nipples either. It just like lays perfectly because I don't wear bras if <laughs> you guys ever noticed that. but. I'm not a bra girl, but also I don't like for my nipples to be like protruding out, although it is natural. But I like when, you know, they can just disappear amongst the fabric. So yeah, I think it's cute. I think it's cute. But yeah, y'all, that is all I actually got today. I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little haul style video. I'm probably gonna be doing more style videos like this in the future because I do know that you guys like these types of videos and at the end of the day, I be shopping. Although I just be trying to be like, I don't be shopping, but I do be shopping. And, and you know, at this point, I just have to accept it. And I know that you guys like this type of content. And I also like, you know, giving you guys the truth when it comes to these items and garments that I buy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash the freaking like button and share with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Also, excuse my appearance, y'all. I did not feel like putting on no makeup or doing my hair. We was baseballing it today. Right. Peace.